Hey everybody, it's Ronnie. Um, we've been asked a lot how to do manual CPT um, or uh, you know chest pound by hand or by cup um, after uh, posting the blog about manual CPT versus the vest. I just wanted to give a real quick uh, run through for some of you who may not be familiar with it on uh, kind of what it looks like, what it sounds like and uh, just some pointers when doing it. Um, now before I start, of course, I need to give you the disclaimer. I am in no way a doctor, a respiratory therapist. I'm simply a patient who has had many pounds done on me, and uh, I know uh, what I like, and I know what feels right. And so if you've been told another way to do it, uh, continue doing it that way, um, because this is, not, this is not medical advice. So here we go. Uh, first off, there are multiple positions that you guys can be doing, uh, you know, either yourself or with your child. And I uh, usually want to start off with the uh, upper lobes here in the chest. And it's just important to remember whether you're doing it by hand or by cup. And I don't have a cup with me. Um, but if you're doing it by hand or by cup and you're doing the upper lobes here, you want to stay below the clavicle and above uh, of course, for guys and girls, it's a little different, but for, for guys, definitely stay above the nipple, and I know a lot of girls want, you know, just above the whole uh, breast, so you have a little area right here uh, that you can pound, um, and I'm going to run through the positions first, and then I'll go um, how to do it properly by hand, so you do the upper lobes sitting up, uh, and then you do the upper lobes on the back sitting up. Uh, and then you can, if you have a wedge pillow, or you can just lay down on a flat surface, um, then you want to do the sides, both sides, and then you want to do the lower lobes uh, on the back. And the, the key thing to remember when you're doing the lower lobes uh, on your back is you got to feel where your bottom ribs are, and you want to stay above the ribs. Uh, because you don't want to be hitting the uh, kidney back there. So make sure you feel for the ribs and you want to hit, uh, you know, give yourself a little bit of space, maybe give yourself three fingers or so above the ribs and stay above that spot. And then for me, I like having an extra lobe done, they call it, and I get my front lowers done. And what's important about here is you feel for the end of the ribs um, on your, your fronts and again, give yourself a little bit of room and stay above your ribs and below your chest. And I get the, uh, the lower lobes done. And for me, that's actually the most effective uh, where I get the most stuff up and where I feel it the most. <coughs> okay, so if you're going to do it by hand, uh, which again, just speaking for me, by hand, uh, I like it the, the most and it feels even more effective for me than even uh, doing it by cups. And I think the biggest thing you want to remember, uh, which just sounds kind of funny, is but don't try too hard. A lot of people, when they hear they got to cup their hands, they do this, they make this huge cup, and they're very rigid and very hard. And you can hear it's just more of a thump. Um, and then some people, of course, the opposite extreme, turn it into a slap because they hold their hands completely straight. So I'm sure you can hear the difference there. It's very important just to be nice and relaxed. Give yourself just a nice little cup. You can see there, it's just a nice little cup. And you can hear, you can hear more of that popping sound. You want to hear the pop. If you hear this, it's probably because you have your fingers a little bit too flat or you're a little bit too rigid, a little bit too stiff. Just relax your hands. I barely have my hands flexed at all. Just relax them. Keep them nice and, nice and loose and you can hear that. You can hear that pop. And you can, of course, double it up. And if you're doing it on yourself, you can do it like this. Uh, otherwise, you just have, you just sit behind the person, you can reach your arms down here and uh, do it that way for the, the front lobes. But you just want to, or you can be in front of them and you can, you know, get 
one full side at a time if you'd like. Um, but again, I just wanted to remind you to just to keep your hands, you know, nice and nice and uh, loose. Don't be squeezing and and I mean, if you see your if you see your wrist tendons popping out or you see your hand bones here popping out, your hands are way too tight. See see the difference? I don't know if you can see it on here, but you don't want that. You want nice and loose. And, uh, you know, just give it a try. I know a lot of people will practice on big uh, pets. Uh, sorry, PETA, but a lot of people practice on big animals. And the other really good way to do it is practice on your thigh. And you can see the different noise. That's me slapping. That's me uh, cupping way too hard and trying to get way too deep. And then that's me making a proper cup. So just here, just here for the noise. You want that, you want that little pop. And uh, like I said in the beginning, really just don't try too hard. Your, uh, your child or uh, I guess the patient um, or me uh, will tell you if it hurts. We'll tell you if it's if you're slapping, and um, just give it a whirl and see how it feels. I hope this helps. Uh, you can of course contact me at any time. Let me know if you have any further questions, and um, just go ahead and start pounding away, and uh, just watch for uh, watch for all the organs. Stay above the ribs, and um, give it a try. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.